The process of making a string instrument by hand hasn't changed for centuries. However, a local craftsman has been able to use local wood to make his instruments look as good as they sound. Here you go. For over 20 years, Jim Borden and his son, Doug, have worked together to build unique string instruments. Together, they search the forest for birch and spruce. We go out into the woods and we look for blowdown spruce, big, big trees that have fallen down naturally, and then we hack a trail in and then we chainsaw them into 36 inch lengths and they're, hopefully they're 30 inches in diameter. And then the birch, I generally just go looking for a live tree. Big, but not too old because there's too much center rot in an old one. About 60% of the wood Jim harvests doesn't make the grade. But once it passes the knock and look test, the carving and sanding begin. And eventually, through trial and error, Jim taught himself how to build a mandolin. And I started making one. And I did, and I could play a tune on it, but it was, it was pretty bad. Looked bad, played bad, it was pretty kindergarten. -y. Jim has sold pieces across North America. Clients love the unique sound. Um, the quality is different. This the sound, it, it's, I think it's warmer and, um, and the guitar is custom built to fit the, the client. So you couldn't get that at a store. My guitar has got a few unique features that you could never buy in, unless you had a custom made instrument. Over the years, around 300 instruments have left the shop, each with its own northern sound of our area. Dave Branco, CKPG News.